Hey everyone, I'm back with another tomato video. Uh, I was out here tending the tomatoes after the video I just made of tomatoes. And uh, as I was paying a little bit more attention to the tomatoes and not making a video, I discovered something that I have to show y'all because this is going to be a uh, really beneficial because this is going to happen to your plants too. Check all the way down at the bottoms of your tomatoes. Let me get the strawberries out of the way. Okay, we have our main branch and then I have another tomato coming up that I can use as a main branch. And I'm actually kind of surprised uh, because it is August. You would have thought this would have happened within six weeks after planting. And these have been planted since May. Um, if you look over here, I did have an offshoot and I trimmed it off. Um, I'm actually just going to let this one go and uh, grow. It's a volunteer you know it's welcome um i don't have any other volunteers on any of the others yet uh but maybe what i can do here because we got a tomato getting ready to be ripe here let's see if we can get a size gauge yeah that tomato might be a very decent size plum uh the one next to it definitely wants to be okay so, if you see uh, an offshoot happen at the bottom of your tomato plant and you want to let it go, uh, let it go because it's only going to give you more tomatoes. And uh, I just want to be able to give you that little tomato update. Uh, I'm out kind of early in the morning doing this. Uh, the sun is just now starting to uh, get on the garden, as you can tell. Um, I will uh, take a minute here. These are shallots. I need to do uh, a little bit of looking so I can bring you a shallot video because... I stumbled across some uh, possible information on shallots, and if it is true, I definitely want to uh, do a shallot video because it will become a uh, quick favorite of your garden. Uh, shallots have a very, very mild onion taste. Um, if you leave them in the ground for the first two years, they will actually bulb and reproduce by bulb. They will also uh, produce seed. And oh, look at that. We have a little tiny bee that doesn't want to come into focus on one of the shallot stems. Okay. So all of the tomatoes have been tied up. Uh, the tomatoes that have needed it have been uh, trimmed back at the bottom so that we have really good airflow. And yes, I see that little tomato down there turning red, but it's already been plucked off the plant uh, weeks ago because it had um, bug holes in it, and I just didn't see the point of... Uh, growing a tomato that the bugs that uh, had already gotten so I decided to pull it off and put it on the ground and let the bugs have that tomato um you need the bugs to be able to garden uh but if you try to withhold everything from the bugs you're just gonna have a really bad time and if you notice something has gotten a little bit buggy it can be better just to pull it and drop it and let them have it because uh, it can encourage them to leave everything else alone. Uh, that's not always the case. In an upcoming video, I will discuss bug management. 
Okay, I am gonna call this good on this follow-up video for the tomatoes. I will see y'all next time. Have a wonderful day, wonderful weekend, wonderful week, month. See you next time. Like, subscribe, and share, please. Bye.